This is Jeff Crosby with the Central District Fishing Report. Lake temperatures across the area are running in the uh, low to mid 60s. The spawn is in full swing, so it's a great time of year to get out and fish for a few crappie at uh, many area lakes like Taylorsville, Beaver, Elmer, Bolts. Uh, lakes are great options for catching a few crappie this time of year. These crappie can be found along the shoreline in about uh, two to six feet of water. Uh, try using crappie jigs or live minnows to catch a few of these fish. Additionally, uh, the largemouth bass are beginning to spawn at area lakes. Uh, lakes like Taylorsville, Harrington, Gist, Kincaid, and Bullock Pen Lakes are great options for catching a few quality bass this time of year. Bass can be caught on a wide variety of baits, uh, such as spinner baits, crank baits, bladed baits, uh, jerk baits, or even plastics uh, fished around these uh, spawning areas can be very productive this time of year. A few white bass and sawgai are still being caught in the upper portions of Taylorsville Lake up in the river. They can be caught on crate baits, uh, swim baits, jerk baits, uh, rattle traps. And finally, uh, don't forget about your local fins lakes in your area. Uh, they have been stocked with trout in the past as well as channel catfish. So check out the department's website, fw ky.gov for a complete list of fins lakes in your area so grab a pole enjoy some great spring fishing and i hope to see you on the water this is jason russell with your eastern district fishing report army corps lakes for the huntington district including dewey fish trap and paintsville and yatesville are only slightly above summer pool levels and most are clearing up well paintsville lake remains heavily stained on the lower end army corps lakes for the louisville district including buckhorn and car creek still have a ways to go at anywhere from five to ten feet below summer pool yet crappie anglers are having great success at dewey lake and some on buckhorn as well water temperatures are in the high 60s and crappie are beginning to spawn minnows have been produced producing better than jigs alone in some locations. Larger fish are staging near the outside edge of treetops. Fish are a little deeper in clear water. Jigs and more aggressive techniques will pick up activity after the spawn. Bass are moving shallow and beginning to fan nests, especially in smaller impoundments where water temps are warming faster. Temperatures are warm enough now that more aggressive fishing tactics and faster presentations will work. Crankbaits and spinnerbaits in shallow water are quickly drawing strikes, but finicky bass may still prefer the slow presentation of soft plastics. We are currently conducting a creel survey and angler attitude survey on Buckhorn Lake this year. The clerk will be interviewing anglers on catch and harvest data and seeking satisfaction input from fishermen. Rainbow trout will be stocked this week in Fish Pond Lake, Letcher County, Russell Fort River in Pike County, and Wolf Creek in Martin County, as well as Wright Fork Beaver Creek in Knott County. Also in the tailwaters of Fish Trap, Dewey, Paintsville, and Yatesville Lake. Be safe on the water and good fishing. Hi, this is Eric Cummins with your Southwest Kentucky Fishing Report. Barren River Lake is three foot below summer pool and slowly rising with water temps in the mid to upper 60s on the surface and about low 60s, uh, about five foot down, and then mid 50s, 10 foot and, le and greater. Green River Lake likewise is filling slowly and is about two foot below summer pool with similar temperatures. Bass bite at both lakes has been good up shallow and some still out on the main lake with spinner baits, crank baits, and soft plastics. Crappie are now mostly up shallow in that five to six foot range or less. Channel cats and blue cats at Barron are also good up on the flats in five to ten foot of water. Um, with bait and low light level periods being the best. Same can be said for Green River Lake, but just channels there. <clears throat> White bass and hybrids are some are still up in the headwaters and feeder creeks and bites still okay on swim baits and spinners, but fish are starting to trickle back downstream. Muskie at Green River Lake have been taking throwing uh, jerk baits and spinner baits. Green and barren tailwaters are at low flow. Uh, fishing will be best at night or up near the box if you're wanting to fish during the day. Barren, Green River, and the tributaries of those 
are all at lower flows with good bass and rock bass fishing with crankbait spinners and soft plastics, you know, floating or wade, wading or bank fishing there. Smaller lake water temps uh, are running in the mid to upper 60s as well on the surface and low 60s, about five foot down, and then again low 50s, about 10 foot and, and deeper. Um, water or Oxygen levels at those impoundments are dropping out at about 15 foot. Uh, Mill Creek Lake and Spurlington Lakes are both good bass bites, those being in Monroe County and Taylor County respectively. Metcalf County Lake, Marion County Lake, Briggs Lake in Logan County, and Spurlington again in Taylor County are also good, good bets for good panfish and crappie action. As always, good luck and good fishing, and be sure your life jacket's got your back. This is Caleb Bentley with the Kentucky Stocking Report. This week across Kentucky, we stocked channel catfish and rainbow trout. Channel catfish was stocked in Camp Carlson Lake, Tom Wallace Park Lake, Fisherman's Park Lake, number three and number four, Leary Lake, Middleton Mills Park, both the Long Pond and the Shelter House, Prisoners Lake, Brickyard Park Lake, Kingdom Come State Park Lake, Millennium Park Lake, Anderson County Park Lake, and Bloomfield Park Lake. The rainbow trout were stocked in Fish Pond Lake, Russell Fork, Fish Trap Lake Tailwaters, Burt Combs Lake, Beaver Creek, Wright Fork, Taylorsville Lake Tailwaters, Gunpowder Creek, Big Bone Creek, Floyd's Fork Creek, Otter Creek ORA, Dewey Lake Tailwaters, Wolf Creek, Yatesville Lake Tailwaters, The Little Sandy East Fork, Paintsville Lake Tailwaters, Nolan Lake Tailwaters, Lynn Camp Creek, Sinking Creek, and Yellow Creek in Bell County. Good luck fishing and stay safe.